Hi guys, thank you so much. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Rizelle Roth. I'm a nurse here in Las Vegas. So I just, first of all, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, I, I have been busy all week. I haven't been able to film all week. Usually I, uh, I wanted to at least film once a week because I have work and I have, you know, um, school as well but last week i was sick also so i was not able to um really film i was tired i was it drained me anyway um i am roselle i'm a nurse here in las vegas so for today's video guys i want to talk to you guys about heart attack what is heart attack and what are the symptoms of heart attack how do you know you're having heart attack so and what are the risk factors of heart attack so we're gonna talk about that today so if you are interested, please stay tuned. But first of all, I wanna um, I have a shout out um, to do. So shout out to one of my subscribers. His name is um, his screen name in YouTube is You're My Idol. So again, shout out to You're My Idol. Um, I think he's from the Philippines. Um, so he's uh, based in the Philippines right now so please visit his channel guys again it's um c screening is your my idol um so for today's video guys i already told you it's gonna be about heart attack right so what is heart attack heart attack is usually means in a medical term it is myocardial infarction so myo means m y o it means it means muscle and then cardial is the heart, right? So heart muscle. But this is um, what we learned from nursing school, myocardial infarction. But I want to talk to you guys about, we're going to, you know, learn a lot of things about it. So heart attack is usually, when we think about heart attack, it's usually, um, it means that you have like a intense pain, right? In the left side of your chest. So why is that your why where is the what causes the pain? So I want to let you guys understand that heart attack is usually when there is a blockage of um, blood flow, oxygen rich blood flow to your heart muscle. So when there is blockage of the of the sudden blockage of uh, uh, blood flow to your heart muscle, it, you're gonna experience that intense intense crushing pain like you never had pain in your life and it's usually going to originate in your left uh, side of the chest and then usually it spreads to the arm to your left arm to your jaw and then you're all, it also accompanies lightheadedness and dizziness it's because of that decrease of um, oxygen supply resulting resulting from um, uh, blockage of that uh, blood flow to the heart so then we're going to talk about what is the reason why there is a blo uh, blockage, right? What causes the blockage to the heart muscle? This comes from, it could be a blood clot from the arteries, you know, like I said, there's a lot of risk factors. So this, our next topic would be the risk factors of heart attack, which is number one is um, high cholesterol or hyperlipidemia in medical term. High cholesterol, why is that that it causes a blockage to the, your heart muscle? The reason why, because when you have high cholesterol in your in your blood, your arteries are going to, there's like a yellow plaques, they call it plaques. It's yellow plaques that will build up in your coronary arteries. Coronary arteries is the arteries that actually supplies oxygen and nutrients to the heart. So it's going to be, it's cholesterol is gonna, if you have high cholesterol, those plaques will build up in that arteries. So what happens is it's going to block the blood going to the heart muscle that supposedly to supplies oxygen, you know, and nutrients to the heart. So when that happens, the tissue dies because there's no oxygen anymore that is applying to the heart muscle. Hence the reason why you're experiencing the pain. So it's very important, guys. Um, one organ actually is um, connected to the other organ, like the heart. You know, if you have high cholesterol, you really that is one of the risk factors. 
it's connected to another um, organ in your body. The next risk factor for heart attack is high blood pressure or hypertension in medical term. The reason being because you know when you have high blood pressure, your your um, your heart it causes your heart to work harder in order to compensate um, your body's demands. So what happens is your heart becomes stiffer and not, you know it becomes stiffer and larger. So when it becomes stiffer, it's potential that those arteries gets narrowed also and then when it's narrowed or blocked it causes that blockage again um always there's a blockage of uh, blood flow to the heart when we talk about heart attack um so that's what right the next one is obesity so next risk factors that could lead to heart attack is obesity yeah it comes with obesity because yeah when you are obese or your um, overweight is you're gonna get high cholesterol so it actually it connects one you know one symptom to another the next one is when you have family history of um heart attack so when you have a family or history of heart attack you have actually like a greater uh, chance of um having heart attack as well so make sure that you it's very important for us to actually um you know, like a uh, wellness visit every year is very important. Even if you don't, if you're, even if you're not sick, it's still important to, like I said in my last video, prevention is actually the key to, um, you know, recognizing um, any illness. So I, the first one that I mentioned is uh, high cholesterol, um, high blood pressure, smoking. Yeah, I also um, risk factor. If you smoke, guys, is also included in the risk factors of um, having heart attack like i said because um i mentioned that in my uh, last video that um there's an ingredient nicotine in the cigarettes that actually causes to narrow our blood vessels and one of it is that the blood vessels that supplies blood and oxygen to the heart which is the coronary arteries so yeah there's a lot of factors guys so how do you know when you have heart attack right so it is actually like an intense like crushing pain like i said it's like pain that you never had before it's will originate into your uh, left chest um it actually usually spreads going through your left arm you're gonna have dizziness as well lightheadedness and also you're gonna have the uh, jaw pain and sometimes it elevates your blood pressure but not all the time it could elevate it may or may not elevate your blood pressure sometimes it stays the same so it's kind of like um really sometimes it could be hard to determine whether you're having uh you know but you just have to make sure that you um that pain usually spreads to the arm and to your jaw and usually if you're having heart attack guys it's usually 15 minutes or longer it lasts between uh, 15 minutes or longer. Some people actually passes out when they have a heart attack. Um, I actually have family friend that actually passed out. So it depends how your body react to it. And then, you know, you're actually... So what are you going to do if you are in the United States and you're feeling that way? Yeah. So most of, first of all, um, if you are not allergic to aspirin, you can... You can chew like one to two tablets of baby aspirin. It's actually better to chew than to swallow. It works faster. So why aspirin? Aspirin has an antiplatelet antiplatelet uh, factor. So it's usually it helps to thin your blood. So when, like I said, when you have a heart attack, it's actually like a blood clot, right? It's a blockage of plaques and blood clot um, that is blocking um, from your coronary arteries. So it, it usually helps it. And if you are not allergic to aspirin guys only take that but and then you call 911 if you are in the united states right so if you are in the philippines i'm uh, i haven't been there i haven't lived there in like 10, 12 years i know the last time i um but i come home every now and then i don't think we have 911 service in the philippines i doubt it but yeah it's that's when it's really really hard um 
I had a family friend that actually had heart attack and then she he was just found but this is this was back home he was just found unconscious you know because it's really hard um most people are not in the philippines um most people are not educated what are the signs you know what to look for uh, so hopefully guys this video is gonna help you guys um identify um at least the signs um and symptoms of heart attack and then what are the risk factors so that you guys are going to be able to um watch out for it yeah when i didn't know either when i was back home before i came to the states because i did not know anything we were we live in the province and i was we were uneducated about medical stuff you know i, I was not a nurse there i i studied here when i came to the states so anyway yeah so when you're in the philippines i don't know it's hard to um especially if you live in the province it's hard to determine but also it's convenient because you have a lot of neighbors that will actually help you right so just hopefully that this video this is actually to help you guys um identify um the signs and symptoms and what could be happening so that you will be urged to um you know like call 911 if you're in the states or or go to the nearest hospital um if you are um in the philippines um but sometimes people get um it depends right people may it could elevate the blood pressure if they're having heart attack it could um or it maybe it could be low it could be high it depends sometimes they become unconscious guys um it's because of that decreased blood flow also so when they become unconscious we usually do what we call cpr it's a cardiopulmonary resuscitation so we're just restoring the blood flow to the heart so we're gonna do like chest compressions um but i don't think this is being taught in the philippines um i'm not sure about that um it would be really help if they know how to do cpr because some you know most of the time it, it could like save lives yes um if you find um if you found the person uh, the person early most of the time they're gonna be able to recover from from that it saves lives so I just wish that it is being taught there back home, um, but in the U.S. in the United States, yes, it is being taught. Some people, even if even if they're not here, just bystanders, also sometimes they know how to do it. But yeah, um, so those are the risk factors, guys, um, that I mentioned. Um, just to recap, so heart attack is usually a blockage of. Uh, blood flow to your heart so you're gonna experience like an intense pain crushing pain to the um to the chest um that spreads to the arm and to the jaw and sometimes also guys um it could mimic other medical conditions such as um anxiety disorder as well heartburn so some people actually um underestimated they're gonna be like oh i just have heartburn you know but you have to really make sure um the signs usually if it's heartburn like if you have if you just have eaten you know heartburn usually just um it usually just uh confined in the you know in the middle chest in your epigastric but when it, when if it's heart attack if it started to spread to your jaw if you feel like your chest is really tight and your arm is you know hurting going to your jaw so that's another issue that's probably most likely heart attack so just make be careful do not to underestimate you know um if you are at home so make sure that you call your um uh primary physician if if it doesn't spread anywhere or you know just it could be just heartburn but you still have to make sure that you go to um prim call your primary physician or go to the nearest hospital just to check you out um for that yeah it is very important guys um yeah like i said in the usa we are very like high tech there's a lot of things that um usually save lives um but we also we also need to be aware of this you know signs and symptoms anyway guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned from this video and if you like this video guys please comment please like don't forget to subscribe and please hit the notification bell down below so that you will be notified the next time i post a video again it's been this it's been really nice guys thank you so much um my name is roselle again 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!